Hey there! This video could be for any time of year, but specifically around this time. I don't know if you have empty candle things laying around or candles that have melt down to the point that you can't use them or even candles that you really liked and were super cute but they were like stored wrong and they're just way melted. This guy's kind of cute. I really like him, but doesn't work so much. This guy I had issues with. So we're gonna smash him. Smashing Santas. Are you ready? He also has been in a storage way too long. He was donated to me. But what we're gonna do is get some new wax to fill the new candle. You need a hammer, some old wax you're not gonna use, whether it's because you think Santa Claus has stolen the season or what. And you go ahead and bust it until it is lots of little tiny pieces. Now, as you can see, these pieces are kind of going all over the place. So, in order to get around that, you might want to bust these up in a bag. Sometimes I do Ziploc bags, they're pretty heavy duty. So I'm gonna empty out all the other candles in there. I'm gonna put Mr. Claus in there. And I have a rubber mallet. It works pretty good. I have a framing hammer. And it works really good. And a normal hammer. Whoop, there it is. I think I'm gonna go back to the framing hammer. It worked the best. Smush. <laughs> All right. So once your guy is completely smushed, there are two different ways you can make a new candle. If you have a candle that you can see this one, it's kind of wonky, the color's gone, it's a little melty. You can prop this candle up and surround it by wax. So I'm going to dump all of the Santa parts in here because he is not the reason for the season. We celebrate baby Jesus and I'm going to try not to make a huge mess. Sorry, that probably wasn't a very exciting video with plastic bag in your face. Now the wick we will want to keep aside, okay? So we have all of these pieces in here and we're going to put this one straight down in the middle, okay? And as that wonky candle burns, this was a really soft wax so I'm even pushing it down and then that will get rid of some of the air pockets in there. And there's room for more wax now. Okay. Ta-da! So that's one way to make a new candle. Let's see here. I have another Santa Claus over here. Now, the history of St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas was a really cool guy. He lived in like the 300s, so a long time ago. He was on the Council of Nicaea, and he's considered a patron saint from the Catholics, a wonder worker. He brought toys and necessities to people in his village or city which is where we get the commercial Santa Claus from. St. Nicholas was a real dude who lived a long time ago. But the Santa Claus guy, he's a little different. So we're gonna throw those in there. And 
this one's cute, but it's really lopsided and melty. We're gonna hammer some more. bag you use will eventually get holes in it but here is the next kind of candle you can make you will need a big pot with some water in it you will need a little pot that you don't care about they do make special candle melting pots wax melting pots in the craft stores if you want to buy it. But then you put your chunks of wax in the pot. Oh, this guy didn't break at all. And you could just put the whole thing in there and melt down, but the smaller pieces melt a lot quicker. Um, having to do with surface temperature and all of that jazz, or surface area, I'm sorry. So you fill it up. You put your big pot on the stove. Heat it up, the water will boil. Your little pot is in there. It will melt the wax. It's called a double broiler. And then you grab another old container that you have. You can put some wax chunks in there if you want to help hold up the wick or you can just melt them all completely. If you don't have an old container, this blew away, excuse me, an empty carton, cardboard milk cartons, juice cartons work great because then you can pour the melted wax in there, let it harden, and then you can just rip the container away from it and you will have a brand new candle. Pretty cool, huh? Good way to reuse, don't lose it, reuse it, and kind of pare down on some of the stuff you might be holding on to, but you know you're never really going to use. I do that a lot. I have a lot of things that I just keep because it's easier to keep it than to throw it away. But why not give it new life and celebrate the new life that Jesus gives us the same time by remembering that he is our light and that he loves us so very much. I hope you have a great weekend and maybe you'll get to try out some candle crafting stuff. See you around, bye.